Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's having trouble with a font, and they send me the fonts, and this is back-to-back -back demo. And if we look real close, there's some parts of the font that aren't filled in. And they really want to use this one, and this one's better, but they're both kind of doing the same thing. And they can't, they're having trouble welding them. So if we select them all and left click, right click, we see the outline. So if we grab just one of them, let's uh, get it out of the way a little bit. And if you go to object and convert it to a curve, still no weld tool available, go to group and ungroup. Now you got your weld tool, but it doesn't weld very good. So instead of doing all that, there is another weld in your toolbox that a lot of people aren't well aware of. And I just, uh, we're gonna do one of these at a time. But if you will just select it and go to object and go to shaping, and there's a weld there, watch what happens. It welds it perfectly. Grab this one, object, shaping, weld. And then you could fill it back in with black or blue and take away the outline and do whatever you want to with it. And because it's welded now, you know, like I don't particularly like these T's on either one of them. Um, you could use the shape tool to clean it up a little bit. You know, like right there, if you'll take the um, shape tool and you got nodes now, so you can, you know, manipulate some of these nodes and do whatever you want to with them, delete them. You could actually delete these and then grab these two and right click, turn them into a line. And then you'd have an object that you could take the shape tool or the smoothing tool and smooth that out. So once it's welded, you can do a lot. I think that looks a lot better and I would do the same to that. That doesn't look too bad, but it did weld. Uh, so just under object and shaping, there's all kinds of, you know, these will come up if they're needed. Uh, just like the intersect tool, if we, let's try it. Uh, draw a square, draw another square. Of course, your intersect tool is gonna come up when you grab both of them here and you're gonna intersect them and you're gonna get that intersection. But if we go here into object and shaping, now your intersection is, which is also K I've come up with just the other day. So anyway, when you're having trouble welding something, that's a lot better way to do it. I hope it helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.